Arthur's Teacher Trouble by Mark Brown Hello, my name is Arthur. Welcome to Living Books. To have the story read to you, click right here. To play inside the story, click over here. To have if you <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play inside a certain <laughs> Okay, rough, here's your bone. Ready? <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know my own strength. Go get it, rough. <laughs> Where's Ruff gonna find his bone? In the jungle. <laughs> Undersea. On another planet. Wow! You want to find out whether Ruff ever gets his bone? Then get Living Books. Ruff's Bone. See you there! Where's Ruff's Bone? If you want to play inside a certain page, click on the arrow to select the page you want and then click OK Okay. The bell rang. 
The first day of school was over. Kids ran out of every classroom, everyone but room 13. Here the students filed out slowly in alphabetical order. See you tomorrow, said their teacher, Mr. Ratburn. Hmm. We had fun today, didn't we? Yes, Mr. Ratburn. Trash, trash, trash. Thirteen. Good afternoon, Mr. Ratburn. Yes, Mr. Ratburn. This is going to be a long year. I can't believe he gave us homework the first day, said Arthur. I had the rat last year, said Prunella. Boy, do I feel sorry for you. Make one wrong move, and he puts you on death row, warned Binky Barnes. He's really a vampire with magical powers, said Chris. He's really a vampire with magical powers. Make one wrong move, and he puts you on death row. Boy, do I feel sorry for you. Oh, no. Oh.
As everyone was leaving, the principal came out of his office. Are you ready for the September Spellathon? He asked. Yes! Cheered the crowd. Who's going to win this year? Asked the principal. Me! Everyone shouted. If I win again this year, do I get my name on the trophy twice? Asked Prunella. Not if I can help it. Whispered Francine. Are you ready for the September Spellathon? Yes! Huh? I won last year. Wow, a trophy. Wow, what a big trophy. <laughs> I don't foresee it being a problem. I certainly will be prepared. Yes! When Arthur got home, he slammed the back door. How was school? Mother asked. I got the strictest teacher in the whole world. Grumbled Arthur. Just a minute. Have a chocolate chip cookie, said Mother. Don't have time, said Arthur. I have tons of homework. I'll eat Arthur's, said D.W. I don't 
don't have any homework. You don't even go to school, said Arthur. I know. D.W. smiled. Don't have time. I have tons of homework. Can I have another cookie? One at a time, D.W. One, two, three, four, boom, shaboom, boom, shaboom, boodle ba boom, shaboom, boom, shaboom, boodle ba boom. These cookies are really good. I guess I'll have just one. Okay. After dinner, Arthur was still doing homework. What's that? Asked D.W. It's a map of Africa, said Arthur. Looks like a pepperoni pizza, said D.W. Pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, black, gray, pink. Africa.
I'm in kindergarten, I won't have any homework. Miss Minker never gives it. Mom! Called Arthur. D.W. is being a pest. Time for bed, said Mother. You can finish your map of Florida in the morning. Africa! Said Arthur. I don't have any homework. I don't have any homework. I don't have any... Whoa! I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done. The next day, Mr. Ratburn announced a spelling test for Friday. I want you to study very hard. He said, The test will have a hundred words. Buster looked pale. <sighs> and, continued Mr. Ratburn, the two students with the highest scores will represent our class at the All School Spellathon. September is fun. Only a hundred words? Maybe my computer can help me. I'm gonna have to study real hard to beat Prunella. I don't even know a hundred words. A hundred words? That week, everyone in Arthur's class studied harder than ever. Maybe 
Good luck, charm. Arthur spent a lot of time looking for quiet places to study. Thanks, D.W. There are so many words. La 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 la. Nice baby. Suddenly, it was Friday, and time for the test. Arthur could smell Miss Sweetwater's class making popcorn. He could hear Mrs. Fink's class leaving for a trip to the aquarium. Why did we have to get stuck with the rat? He whispered to Francine. The next word is vacation. The next word is vacation. Fish. Kiss. Squid. S Q U I D Squid This is easy. Pencils down, please. Pass your papers to the front. Mr. Ratburn corrected their papers during lunch. Class, he said, most of you did very well on the test, but only two of you spelled every word correctly. Muffy smiled. Francine hiccuped. <laughs> Buster patted his good luck charm. Mr. Ratburn cleared his throat. <clears> throat> Our class representatives for the spellathon will be. The brain, 
and Arthur. There must be some mistake. I did? I can't believe it. I thought so. I thought I'd win. Class, you all did very well. Congratulations, Brain and Arthur. Thank you. Mr. Rathburn gave Arthur and the Brain each a special list of words. Just study these, and you'll be ready for the Spellathon in two weeks. He said. Eskimo. E S K I M O. Eskimo. Banana. B A N A N A. Banana. Goldfish. G O L D F I S H Goldfish Airplane A I R P L A N E Airplane Balloon B A L L O O N <laughs> Balloon Ambulance A M B U L A N C E <laughs> Uh, uh, oh no! <laughs> Ambulance. Trumpet. T R U M P 
P E P. Trumpet. Faucet. F A U C E T. Faucet. Umbrella. U M B R E L L A. Umbrella. Turtle. T U R T L E E. <laughs> Turtle. Glasses. G L A S S E S. Glasses. Squirrel. S Q U I R R E L. Squirrel. Astronaut. A S T R O N A U T. A N D E R I T. Astronaut. Telephone. T E L E P H O N E. Telephone. Dinosaur. D I N O S A U R. Hmm. <coughs> Dinosaur. Cookie. C O O K I E. Cookie. Acrobat. A C R O B A T. Acrobat. Bicycle. B I C Y C L E. Bicycle. Whale. W-H-A-L-E. Whale. Lightning. L-I-G-H-T-N-I-N-G. Lightning. Kitten. K I T T E N. <laughs> Kitten. Chicken. C H I C K E N Chicken Basket B A S K E T Basket Seagull. S E A G U L L. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Sea 
Eagle. Wheel. W A E E L. Wheel. Vacuum. V A C U U M. Vacuum. Parachute. P A R A C H U T E. Parachute. Snake. F. N A K E Hmm Snake Helicopter H E L I C O P T E R Helicopter. Cake. C A K E. Cake. Tomato. T O M A T O. <laughs> Tomato. Monkey. M O N K E Y. <laughs> Monkey. Butterfly. B U T T E R F L Y. <laughs> Butterfly. Scissors. F C I S S O R S. Scissors. Pitcher. P I T C H E R. Pitcher Pelican P E L I C A N Ah Pelican Barrel B A R R E L Oh Oh Barrel Submarine F U B M A R I N E Submarine Octopus O C T O P U S Hammer H A M M E R <laughs>
hammer. Arthur's family helped him study. Grandma asked Arthur his spelling words. Now spell trouble, honey. T R O U B L E. That's right, dear. How about your C H O R E S? Father asked. I will after I finish my homework, Dad. Have you made your B E D? Mother added. Y E S, Mom. Now spell eclipsive. Oh, I mean bicycle. B I C Y C L E. Bicycle. Spell computer, Arthur. C O M P U T E R. Computer. That's right, son. Arthur, spell sister. P R A T brat. I am not Arthur. S I S T E R sister. D W helped too. When Francine and Buster came over, D W answered the door. She said, "I don't have to study." <sighs> I'll never learn all these words in time. <sighs> have fun studying, Arthur. <sighs> I can't believe the spellathon is finally here," said Grandma. "Maybe now we'll get a little peace and quiet," D W said. "Good, Good luck, luck, Arthur," Arthur said Mother and Father. Auditorium. Phew. Oh, I don't think I'm ready. Just do the best you can, son. Don't worry, dear. You're going to do just fine, dear. Not yet, dear. Artist of the week. Picasso. Take your seats, please. Hey Arthur, we're on. From backstage, Arthur could hear the whole school out in the auditorium. Well, today's the big day," said Mr. Ratburn. "How do you feel?" "I feel fine," the brain answered. Arthur gulped. "I wish I were still back in bed." The auditorium is full. Isn't this exciting? It sure is. 
I memorized all the words. Hi! D.W. <laughs> 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 oh, pardon me. <gasps> <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> Good luck, boys. The principal welcomed everyone and explained the rules. The brain had the first turn. He stepped up to the microphone. The first word is fear, said the principal. F-E-R-E, -E, said the brain a little too quickly. I'm sorry, said the principal. That's not correct. Are you sure, asked the brain. What dictionary are you using? <laughs> Good try, brain. I can't believe this is happening. Hi, Mom! Wow, the brain missed. <laughs> Doesn't my hair look beautiful? Uh, I thought he said fur. The brain wasn't the only one to drop out quickly. The representatives from Miss Sweetwater's and Mrs. Fink's class were gone in a flash. Before long, only Arthur and Prunella were left. It was Prunella's turn. The word is... Preparation, said the principal. Prunella looked down at her feet. Could I have the definition, please? She asked after a moment. Preparation, the principal repeated. The process of getting ready. Of course, said Prunella. P-R-E-P... -E she paused. E-R-A-T-I-O-N. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> said the principal. Now Arthur gets a chance to spell. Arthur, are you ready? E yes. Phew. Arthur looked out over the audience and took a deep breath. Preparation, he said. P-R-E-P-A-R-A-T-I-O-N. Correct, said the principal. Everyone in Mr. Ratburn's class cheered. Yay! Way to go, Arthur! I'm glad I studied.
I'm so proud. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my grandson. Then, Mr. Rathburn went to the microphone. I'm very proud of Arthur, he said. In fact, I'm proud of my whole class. They worked very hard. Congratulations, Arthur. Thanks, Brain. Hi, Grandma! Hi! Spellathon! Congratulations, Arthur. Gee, thanks. Everyone did such a nice job. Smile, please. Will you please smile for the camera lady? Thanks, kids. If you want to play inside a certain page, click on the arrow to select the page you want. And then click OK. This is the last third grade I'll have in the Spellathon, but next year I look forward to a new challenge teaching kindergarten. <laughs> oh no! Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's have a big hand for everyone in the Spellathon. Ratburn. Oh, he is so handsome. That'll be fun, D.W. <laughs> That's your class, D.W. Teaching kindergarten, Mr. Rapper. See you next year, D.W. How lucky for you, D.W. Thank you all for coming. We'll see you at the Spellathon next year. So long.
I'll see you next time. To have the story read to you, click right here. To hear the story in Spanish. La campana sonó. El primer día de escuela había terminado. Los niños salían corriendo de todos los salones de clase. De todos, excepto el Salón 13. De ese salón los niños salían en fila, despacio y en orden alfabético. Nos vemos mañana, les dijo su profesor, el señor Ratburn. Sí, señor Ratburn. Buenas tardes, señor Ratburn. ¡No puedo creer que nos haya dado tarea el primer día! Dijo Arturo. Tuve el profesor Rapburn el año pasado. Dijo Prunella. ¡Ay, cómo me das lástima! Si haces algo malo, te pone en la silla de los acusados. Le advirtió Pinky Barnes. En realidad es un vampiro con poderes mágicos, dijo Chris. Oh no. Cuando ya todos se iban, el director salió de su oficina. ¿Ya están listos para el maratón de ortografía en septiembre? Preguntó. ¡Sí! Contestaron todos. ¿Quién va a ganar este año? Preguntó el director. ¡Yo! Gritaron todos. Si gano este año otra vez, ¿pondrá mi nombre en el trofeo dos veces? Preguntó Prunella. Solo eso me falta. Susurró Francine. <risa> Cuando Arturo llegó a su casa, azotó la puerta. ¿Cómo te fue en la escuela? Mamá preguntó. Me tocó el profesor más estricto. Gruñó Arturo. Cómete una galletita de chocolate, dijo mamá. No tengo tiempo, dijo Arturo. Tengo toneladas de tarea. Ya no es como la de Arturo. Dijo Dorita. Yo no tengo tarea. Tú ni siquiera tienes que ir a la escuela. Dijo Arturo. Yo sé. Dorita se sonrió. ¿Me puedo comer otra? Una a la vez, Dorita. Ay, me comeré nada más una. Ok. Después de cenar, Arturo siguió haciendo su tarea. ¿Qué es eso? Preguntó Dorita. Es un mapa de África. Dijo Arturo. Parece una pizza de chorizo. Dijo Dorita.
el año que entra cuando esté en kindergarten, no voy a tener tarea. La señorita Mickey nunca la da. ¡Mamá! Dijo Arturo. ¡Dorita, me está molestando! Es hora de ir a la cama, dijo mamá. Puedes terminar tu mapa de Florida en la mañana. ¡África! Dijo Arturo. Al día siguiente, el señor Radburn les dijo que iban a tener una prueba el viernes. Quiero que estudien mucho. Les dijo. La prueba va a tener cientos de palabras. Buster se puso pálido. Y... Continuó el señor Radburn. Los dos estudiantes que saquen la mejor calificación representarán a nuestra clase en el maratón de ortografía de toda la escuela. ¿Solo cien palabras? Tal vez mi computadora me ayude. Esa semana todos en la clase de Arturo estudiaron más fuerte que nunca. ¡Son tantas palabras! Arturo se pasó mucho tiempo buscando un lugar tranquilo donde poder estudiar. ¡Arturo! Mamá quiere que te dé más palabras para que las estudies. Gracias, Torita. De repente llegó el viernes y la hora de la prueba. Arturo podía oler el aroma de las palomitas de maíz que estaban haciendo en el salón de la señorita Sweetwater. Podía oír a los niños de la clase de la señora Finn que ya se iban a visitar el acuario. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué nos tocó nosotros el profesor Rapburn? Le dijo en secreto a Francine. La próxima palabra es vacación. <risa> Esto es fácil. Lápices abajo, por favor. Pasen sus papeles al frente. El profesor Radburn corrigió los papeles durante el almuerzo. ¡Clase! Les dijo. Casi todos hicieron muy bien la prueba, pero solo dos deletrearon cada palabra correctamente. Muffy se sonrió. A Francine le dio hipo. Buster acarició su dije de la buena suerte. El señor Radburn tosió. <coughs> Nuestros representantes para el maratón de ortografía serán Brain y Arturo. Debe de ser un error. Wow, Arturo ganaste. ¿Yo gané? El profesor Radburn les dio a Arturo y a Brain una lista especial de palabras. Solo estudien estas y estarán listos para el campeonato de ortografía en dos semanas. Les dijo. La familia de Arturo le ayudó a estudiar. 
La abuelita estuvo repasando las palabras con Arturo. Ahora deletrea problema, amor. P, R, O, P, L, E, M, A. Muy bien, lindo. Su papá le preguntaba. ¿Cómo van tus Q, U, E, H, A, C, E, R, E, S? Lo haré cuando termine mi tarea. ¿Ya hiciste tu C, A, M, A? Mamá le decía. S, I, mamá. Dorita también le ayudó. Cuando Francine y Buster iban a su casa, Dorita abría la puerta y les decía. Arturo no puede jugar, pero yo sí. Yo no tengo que estudiar. ¿Cómo está trabajando? ¿Puedo jugar contigo? Bueno. bueno. Ok. okay. Diviértete estudiando, Arturo. Ya nos podemos ir, mami. No puedo creer que hoy es el día del maratón, dijo abuelita. Tal vez ahora podamos tener un poquito de paz y tranquilidad, dijo Dorita. Buena, Buena suerte, suerte, Arturo, le dijeron mamá y papá. Oye, Arturo, ya nos toca. Uh -huh. Detrás del telón, Arturo podía oír a toda la escuela en el auditorio. Bueno, este es el gran día, dijo el profesor Radburn. ¿Cómo te sientes? Muy bien, contestó Brain. Arturo tragó en seco. Uh, ojalá yo estuviera en mi camita. Buena suerte, muchachos. El director dio la bienvenida a todos y explicó las reglas. A Brain le tocó el primer turno. Se paró enfrente del micrófono. La primera palabra es miedo, dijo el director. M, E, I, D, O, dijo el Brain. Un poquito rápido. Lo siento, dijo el director. No es correcto. ¿Estás seguro? Preguntó Brain. ¿Qué diccionario está usando? ¡Wow! Brain se equivocó. Buena prueba, el Brain. Brain no fue el único que salió rápido. Los representantes de las clases de la señorita Sweetwater y la señora Pink salieron volando. Así que los únicos que quedaron fueron Arturo y Prunela. Era el turno de Prunela. La palabra es preparación, dijo el director. Prunela bajó los ojos. ¿Me puedes dar la definición, por favor? Preguntó después de un momento. Preparación. El director repitió. El proceso para estar listo. Claro, dijo Prunela. P R E P E R A C I O N. Lo siento, es incorrecto. Dijo el director. Ahora le toca a Arturo deletrearla. Arturo dirigió una mirada al público. Y respiró muy hondo. Preparación. Dijo. P, R, E, P, 
A L A C I O N. ¡Correcto! Dijo el director. Todos los de la clase del profesor Radburn aplaudieron. ¿Gané? ¡Qué bueno que estudié! Ese es mi hijo. Estoy tan orgullosa. El profesor Radburn se dirigió al micrófono. Estoy muy orgulloso de Arturo, dijo. En verdad, estoy muy orgulloso de toda la clase. Han estudiado mucho. ¡Yay! Sonrían, por favor. Una sonrisa a la cámara, por favor. Esta es la última clase de tercer año que tengo en el maratón de ortografía. Pero me siento muy complacido. Porque el año entrante tendré la gran oportunidad de... Enseñar Kindergarten. ¡Ay, no! ¿Enseñando un kindergarten, el señor Riper? ¡Nos vemos el año entrante, Dorita! Va a ser muy divertido, Dorita. ¡Qué suerte tienes, Dorita! ¡Muchas gracias por venir! ¡Nos veremos en el maratón el año que entra! So long. I'll see you next time. To have the story read to you, click. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay. Goodbye. Just Grandma and Me by Mercer Mayer Hi, I'm Little Critter. Welcome to Living Books. To have the story read to you, press this button. To play inside the story, press this button.
are read to you, press this button. If you want to play inside a certain page, click on the arrow to select the page you want, and then click OK. OK. We went to the beach. Just Grandma and me. There's a bee on your head. Yo! Get it off! Get it off! Stop jumping and hold still. You'll scare the bee. Is it gone? Is it gone? Yes, dear. It just flew off. When is the bus coming, Grandma? It will be here soon. Are you excited? Yeah, Grandma, I am. To have the story read to you, here's the story in Japanese. おばあちゃん。楽しみだね。ああ、おばあちゃん。To have the story, here's the story in Spanish. Fuimos a la playa solo abuelita y yo. ¿Cuándo viene el camión, abuelita? No tarda en venir. ¿Estás entusiasmado? Claro que sí, abuelita. <risa> Vámonos. 
Do you want to quit? Okay. Aesop's The Tortoise and the Hare Welcome to Living Books. I'm the tortoise. And I'm the hare. And this is the story of how I beat him in the race. It all began one day when the tortoise was lying around, not doing anything, and I was trying to help him get moving. Ah, gotta go. See you later. <laughs> To find out what really happened, you'll have to hear the story. To have the story read to you, click over here. To play inside the story, click over here. To find out what really happened, if you want to play inside a certain page, click on the arrow to select the page you want, and then click OK. Okie dokie. This is the story of the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise was a friendly fellow who moved at his own slow pace. Good morning, birds. The hare was a busy person who was always on the move. Hey, Hare. Huh? Did you forget to recycle that newspaper? Uh, all right. <coughs> that Hare is moving so fast, he's not paying attention to where he's going! <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>
Don't you just love mornings? No, they're too slow. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Was I snoring? No. Okay. Thanks for calling. Bye. Hey, Slowpoke. What are you doing? At your speed, it'll be lunch before you finish breakfast. It will not. Well, I'm late. Gotta go. To find out what re- Okay. Esta es la historia de la tortuga y la liebre. La tortuga era una criatura amigable que caminaba a paso lento. Buenos días, pajaritos. La liebre era una persona muy ocupada. Siempre andaba de un lado para otro. Oye, Doña Lenta, ¿qué estás haciendo? A tu ritmo, será tiempo del almuerzo antes de que termines el desayuno. No es cierto. Ay, se me hace tarde. Tengo que irme. Are you sure you want to quit? Ok. Goodbye. The New Kid on the Block. Poems by Jack Prilecki. Hi, I'm Jack Prilecki. Welcome to Living Books. I wrote the poems in The New Kid on the Block. Though I'm usually a poet, today I'll be your guide. To pick a poem, click on the arrows till you find one you'd like to hear. To have a poem read to you, click read to me to play inside a poem click let me play while you're deciding i'll sing you a poem called Al okay i spied my shadow slinking 
up behind me in the night. I issued it a challenge, and we started into fight. I wrestled with that shadow, but it wasn't any fun. I tried my very hardest. All the same, my shadow won. To pick a poem, are you sure you want to quit? All right. Goodbye.